and then do the introduction. What's good, people? Back at everyone after like a month, two months of week, not podcasting. Sure. Tim's a bitch. Okay, oh, listen, it's not my fault. Right? Oh, this is this the quarantine is podcast, escalated. and nobody's allowed out of the oh, house. Yeah. I thought we're not allowed to swear. What happened? Ah, I thought fine. he turned. Are we? Do we start yet? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, the quarantine podcast. <clears throat> that somebody's allowed out of their house, so we're doing our uh, part and not leaving the house. I guess. Brian's doing his part yeah. to eliminate alcoholics in the world by drinking all the alcohol. Oh, this guy goes <laughs> to LCBO at least once a day. He's keeping local business Minimum. open. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because after I have to go to the convenience store and buy alcohol, uh, sorry, buy Coke. Is Dark just supporting the local dispensary? Or the uh, local the local plug? I think and they're on deliveries only. <laughs> and Dad's out here supporting his local restaurants still. I'm making sure that Coke does well. He, uh, he's, he's making right. sure he, he orders from Uber Eats and uh, skip the dishes. Yep. Yo, everybody looks mad caveman, like, except for Brian. Brian's the only one that's caved. Brian looks like he's <laughs> everybody. Looks Brian like shaved though. Caveman. Real men would have kept the beard, Brian. Oh. I'm growing it. I'm growing it until they say quarantine is over. I'm, I'm growing it till I gotta get back to work. I'm not growing it at all because I need a haircut too. I, but you know what? With this kind of beard, I can go to the concert, like you're, you're gonna get a palm of a deal. You know, I might just shave it. <laughs> I might go naked, Darsh. Naked Darsh, no one wants to see that. Bang. <laughs> just shaved all off. Okay, before this is just a rambling of us sitting around talking about I don't know what the hell. What is so, who, who got their EI? Not me. Oh, uh, see, I'm waiting for my CRE. I'm still working, so. <clears throat> I got yeah, it. Yeah, okay, yeah. essential, essential. We get <laughs> it. I'm we still working, it. too. Essential. Which brings us back to this whole coronavirus thing that's going around. You guys heard of it? Yeah, you guys heard of it? Oh, I don't yeah, know. it's a great beer. I think oh, every single person has heard of it. <laughs> you guys, you it's you guys a great beer. coronavirus thing that's been going around, yo? Yo, man, you're getting licks for going outside. Yo, my <laughs> parents are going outside. I did not bring home coronavirus. Yo, don't you only go out for bike rides? Yeah, but even then, my dad's like, I have I have an N95 mask. Upstairs. You want to like, be the insight? It gets a 3M N95 filter. Background person. Listen, if you drive your bike fast enough, you can't you can run away. So, okay, but, okay, so take this in. I have a 3M N95 filter, like a mask. My dad lives in one. That's my keys. Leave anytime it. Anytime I leave the house. Hold on, what? I have a th- I have a 3M N95 filter, right? Yeah. And my dad wants me to wear it anytime I leave the house. Wait, 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 the one with the small little filter in the front or the two big ones? The no. small one in the front. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, get wait, those two wait, big wait. ones. <laughs> you okay, let see me the be the first to say it. Let me, let me be the first to say it. Trudeau, cool guy. The way nope. he dealt with this whole situation, hate him. Uh, <laughs> I'm putting that one out there. I don't know what you guys have to say on that. I hate him. The way he yeah, dealt with this whole Six months, eight <laughs> months. A year. <laughs> like, this guy said Every time he gets on, you know, it's just like, all right, yo, how much longer you extend this? Just get ahead with this. this. But, like, yeah. he, sat, he sat there with nobody checking anybody at the airport for how long. Then he was like, okay, let's check people from China. Then people from Middle Eastern countries were coming in infected. And then he wasn't checking any of them. And now there's a spread. And instead of just closing down the city and saying, fuck it, <clears throat> no, honestly, keep everything speaking- open. We should, uh, uh, instead of blaming our leaders, because you got to understand that they were dealing with it in much more different ways, you got to blame China. It's actually their fault. And this doesn't sound racist because the Chinese government did not publicly release any uh, numbers or anything of this, not all acts, allegations and claims, until it finally became too much of a problem. Then they're like, yeah, uh, we tried to take care of this, but uh, shit ain't working. Yeah, but look, yeah. but look at Wuhan. They what? They got okay. So what? Eighty thousand got infected. They were in the quarantine. They what? Uh, it was a, what? A three or four week quarantine, and now everybody's out walking around the city. They have no new numbers. But they don't. They're not. They're lying though. People are saying those are non. Like those numbers are not correct. You know. 
even if it's not correct or not, Wuhan's out of quarantine. They, they're not in quarantine anymore. That one we know for sure. We don't know that. We don't know that. The government it's, could be lying. Exactly. They could they still be in quarantine. media from in there. Yeah. I don't know. I, I've seen a couple of videos, but I'm not trying to be in a WhatsApp doctor here. My parents have been... <laughs> Whoa. Yo, my dad got his in WhatsApp university. Yeah. Well. Make sure you drink that onion uh, tea that they made onion with tea. extra garlic. Yo, the amount of WhatsApp information that's been hitting me. No, I'm not. <laughs> I like your young Louis has been sending me shit. Yo, it's... <laughs> oh my god, it's... Yeah, ginger. It's dumb. <laughs> Bro, it's it's nuts. But um, yo, and another thing, everybody's just I see, I see, I see um, it's what like younger than us, even our age, too, partying, and I'm sitting here like I haven't yo, seen any. Yeah, they won. They, uh, yeah, there was some. Now not no more though. Yeah, yeah it's because they're throwing out $100,000 fines? Are you nuts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yo, there are mans that link up that's more than five all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're doing yeah. it secretly. Yeah. They don't have a barbecue. Yeah, it's like us. Okay, but uh, no, 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 they got understand. They got no, no, okay. Today I went to the gas station, right? <laughs> there was like 13 people in the gas station. Yeah, no. Are you going to find it all? Oh, Darshan got interrupted. No. One man he's down. Back. He's back. He's back. All right, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yo, there's like 13 people at the gas station. Are they going to find us? Are they going to find the gas station? Like, how do you regulate that shit? Well, like, that's why they're essential, yo. No, but like the people yeah. that are going there. Yeah, it's, not like, like, it's, not, it's not like there's 10 mans inside the gas station, though. There, no, there's 13 of us. Uh, same thing. They should do it like the same way as grocery stores. I mean, how many people can actually Yeah, they don't how many people can enter. That's very true. But then again, they should, you know what they should do is that they should do that. Yo, these then, places yeah, are not keeping their do. things sanitized. Yeah, I know. Like, yo, imagine if they had Lysol wipes around the place or like Kleenex to yeah. clean your parts. You, you know what I mean? No, 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 they actually put We gotta be responsible. Products. No, but I don't oh, see it. Like, that's though. different. Yeah. No, but yeah, because, yo, they're making us in charge like we got to be responsible of not catching yeah. this virus you know that's so, what so they're so they're they're minusing they're, they're they just don't care about all the dumb people it's, in the world the grocery know I mean? stores, right? i've been to the grocery store a couple of times right they have so many precautions in place people can only have a certain amount inside uh they're they're sanitizing all the carts so they're actually doing things. See, right? some some grocery stores are more high maintenance than others, though. Not uh, even the grocery store yeah. by our house. But that's what I'm saying. But gas stations don't do shit. No. They got no. that sneeze guard up for the employees, and that's it. Screw you, customers. Yeah, but yo, did you hear that story about um GameStop trying to stay open? To consider No. Ow. Okay. Bro, we've tried to stay open because we thought we were essential. Yeah, well, look at us, yo. Well. I have it somewhere here. I can find it. Yo, saying I can sell all my games and everyone will start buying it right now. You'll get so like four. Sell so all all the movie games. <laughs> yo, do you know? Yo, Xboxes <laughs> are going for so much. Yeah, oh, Xbox is like four hundred bucks right now. I'm like, yeah, yo, it's way more than four hundred, yo. I'm trying to get one for Michelle, and Xboxes are like fucking five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, they were like, what? Prices. What? Oh, I lied. So it was a week ago. I guess GameStop decided to um. I guess oh. they decided to close all their stuff now because uh, the title is GameStop closes all stores. But yeah, they were at one point they were um, at one point they were yeah. GameStop says it's an essential business. Employees are outraged. What was even worse was they weren't even um they weren't even uh giving their employees like face masks, um, gloves, ice all. Yeah, you want to know why? Because everyone already bought them out. <laughs> no, but yo, here's the problem, right? You can't, you can't, you can't tell people that you deserve to be essential in times like this, yo. It's a different story, and, and you gotta be, you gotta explain correctly. You know what I mean? Like with our dealership, right? We stayed open as long as the government let us. We didn't argue and fight to stay open. Yeah. When they close us down, no questions asked. We just close down. Yeah, so well, yeah, they so yeah, they're fighting it, which is, it doesn't seem on them. You know? Now in the future, like. You gotta understand that that's a company that doesn't give a shit about your well-being. They only care about making money. 
Yeah, but then that looks bad on them too, so it's... But that's what I'm saying, right? They don't understand. They're not using their brains <clears throat> for short-term gain now. They're going to lose out like crazy in the future. Uh, well, GameStop, GameStop was saying that, what, they were essential what because of, like, off? mice and keyboards and uh, other stuff like that, and I was like... Amazon. Really now? <laughs> I mean, now everything's taking longer from Amazon. Yeah, but be that, that, yeah, that's yeah. only because Amazon's been using their... Um, their shipping facilities as like facilities to ship essentials to essential workers now or something like that. Yeah. I can actually, speaking of that, I can actually look at They were using their Not bad. Amazon and workers, I think it was. What the hell? Yeah, I didn't find the story I was looking for, but I found a funnier story. I don't know if I can show it, but I'm still show it. <laughs> Next story is video games and dolls. Amazon workers claim the company is still sending out whatever customers ordered despite pledges to prioritize essential goods. <laughs> Bro, that's important, dog. That's important to some men. Especially in that. Right? I, Yo, in that, is that your doll in the background I see on the couch over there? A what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like looking, I'm like, what are they talking about? <laughs> you have to look for it. You have to make sure it's out of frame. Yeah. <laughs> there's my head. Uh, did it? It was what? Yes- I just sound like that just now. It was what? Yesterday that Trudeau said this thing might go on longer than a year? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, it's going to be like 18 months. Bruh. People got to stay though. I swear to God, whoever's watching this, stay the fucking side, dog. I'm not trying to stay in this shit for 18 months, bro. Yo, it's two weeks. It's what, three weeks almost? And I'm already losing my shit with my family. Summer 2K20 is, will now be Summer 2K21. Yo. Nah, bro. We gotta be out of there. <laughs> my parents took my car off insurance. I, I know it sounds like first world, like, oh, it can't be go anywhere. But, like, as somebody, as a car guy, yeah. and enjoy yeah, driving. You know, that's the majority of my life. Stripped out. Absolutely. Thank God for company insurance. So you keep the car. Oh. I'm still on. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Probably not. Okay. Yeah. It yeah, I... sucks. Yo, sorry guys. We here we have Garsh halfway through the podcast. I low key muted him. Just so I muted you. Don't worry. Yeah, I know. Everybody's going to look at this and just be like, yeah. Listen, okay. This is the best we can do for the podcast right now just because of situations. <laughs> oh. Our bad that our parents kind of come in. <laughs> Who's that kid? <laughs> Who's that? Possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? That was my dad. Who do you Yo. think it was? I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put put it past your dad to be honest. <laughs> it was my brother. I figured. Um. But no, bro. I'm telling you. I think China. In the end, the Chinese government should be forced to pay reparations. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, it's not the Chinese people's fault. They're just, it is what it is. It's the government's fault, I think, for hiding it. Because I think if a better, if a if a global response was initiated earlier, I think there'd be a lot less uh, yeah, but harm you, caused. Yeah, but that's like, say, that's like also saying, in the terms of our government, they had the powers to just lock the city down and just keep it isolated for the time being, but they didn't. But see, here's the thing. Right now, we are. But... It's still not doing anything. We're over 20,000 cases. Yeah, because what our guideline right now is... Can't see her. I know people back. right now that aren't social distancing. I'm not going to say anything. I've told them that they should be. But yeah. you can only say so much. Yeah. People, and then it's like, yeah. Sure they don't well, okay, you got to look at it too, right? Like, okay, for example, in Rexdale, right? And in... See, so in Brampton... Where are you going to get it? Let me mute this guy. Yo, guys. Yeah. Yo, for pop right now, where's open? Pop? Gas station? Yeah. Gas station's your best bet. Gas station. Gas station. All right, tell me when he starts talking back to us. I'm going to mute him for now. Oh, he said don't mute him. Oh, don't mute him? (laughs) Not Why would not. you guys want to get me? Yo? You guys don't like me? No, no, no. It's just because yo, you're talking. You're talking with your family. Actually. Listen, you have consent with being on it on YouTube. They don't have consent on being on a podcast or YouTube. So you're not showing me any right now. 
Um, yeah, back to what we were talking about, um, what, coronavirus? You mean yeah. China virus? Chill. Well, I mean... Uh, Brian. You, know, you know what hurts my head? Brian can't swear, so he's just gonna be racist. You know what hurts my head more, though? The fact that, um... China. <laughs> the, like, the fact that, like, we've had an outbreak before. We've had SARS and MERS. But right? SARS was not that bad. Everyone telling me that was alive and working during no, SARS no, was like, I'm... it was just like, the government basically just said, don't cough on anyone. No, that's what you I'm saying. I mean? We know what outbreaks are look like. We know what H1N1 look like. Like, we've had outbreaks before. This isn't the yeah, first no outbreak we've had. had. This one before, my guy. Huh? This is the first time we've ever had anything like this. No, oh, but I'm, it, it's the first time we have, we've seen anything like a COVID-19 case, but it's not the first time we've seen an outbreak. You know how to control outbreaks. It's like, as weird as it sounds, it's like fighting war. As, as generals, you understand how to fight war. As government and health officials, you understand how to control pandemics. You have multiple pandemics. And but they know. Before. If the government doesn't listen, you can't do anything. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's the <clears throat> government's fault. That's why they're easy. That's why they should be blamed for everything here. Like, okay, how do you deal with a buck tea like GameStop? That says no, we're essential. We should stay open. You know what I mean? That, I don't know. It's just it's really stupid. I think, in my opinion, like I got family that are like doctors, and they're like it, it sucks for them. You know what I mean? Like they can't be with their family. They gotta like live. All, like it's so bad. Yeah, no. We have I have there's employees at my workplace that have to live in their car because they're afraid of infecting elderly at home. They have Imagine cancer. Any okay. Essential workers that are listening to this right now, whether you be a grocery store worker. I want Bob, so she's so oh, let me get this guy one more time because the family's being loud. Uh, yeah, to any essential workers that are listening, I have a few. Yes, and whatever. They, they listen every now and then. Yo, thank you. You guys have done a lot. Where'd Brian go? Lot for lot for the, where Brian's going. Brian. I don't know. Hello, Brian. I'm back. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, to you, like, yeah, workers, thank you. You guys have saved us a lot. You guys are doing a lot, and it's important. That's all I can say. Yo, I it is, okay. it is, huh? Unmute Darsh. I did. I did. Oh no! It's it's so old. It like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like you know, even even something is like as we, we think of it, something is also group. Before pandemic, what we consider grocery store workers like entry level jobs. Now we look at it, and grocery store workers are literally keeping the city running at this point them and truckers yeah like yeah. without those guys the, like we understand that nurses and hosts and doctors they, they're doing their part they're they're working they're important we understand that but a lot of the people that get overlooked are people like grocery store workers truckers that have to move goods from one position to another or grocery store workers that are coming into contact with people day after day after day after day trying to buy groceries right those guys keep the grocery store <coughs> open so any essential workers that are watching this, whether you work grocery store or wherever else, I don't know what else is considered essential. I don't know. But any of you guys that are considered essential, thank you. Thank you. Doctors, that no one has doctors, nurses, truckers, yeah. police officers. Uh, um, I, I have, we sorry. Have, we have a few trucker friends. No pigs. We have a few trucker friends that have that uh, can do so. the podcast. So thank you guys too. You guys keep control of everything. Kungura Transport Inc., A A Y X Transport, all you bands, so you guys hold transport, all you bands hold it down. Yo, Brian, I know Brian's looking at car parts right now. Oh, <laughs> like, yo, he has a different tab. We can see in your face, Brian, the reflection. Your dark as shit. Don't Brian, worry about it. I know he's looking at car parts. He's being so quiet. I'm looking at being so quiet. I'm looking at JRP performance. Hey, eh? supercharger on the go. Yeah, okay, essential worker. Don't worry, my CRE is gonna come in. You know what's stupid is that <laughs> essential, some some essential workers are getting paid less than the Canada Emergency Revenue Pension Plan. Yeah, that's sad. That's so stupid. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like well, you're not doing anything at home, and you're getting paid more than some dude that's risking his life every day. They should give them a raise. You know, like gas station workers don't get hazard pay. Yeah, yeah they um, should actually give them a raise. Yeah. Yeah. There's um. There was a grocery store that gave their workers a raise. Like it was, a, it was a small raise. I think it was like a dollar or two dollars. That's that's a big raise, yo. That's actually a big raise in some. I, no, like I get it's some... a big raise. Like outside of what's going on in the world, it's a big raise. Don't get me wrong about that one. Yeah. 
but with what's going on right now. So, what do you think they should get paid? Five bucks extra. Yeah, should, yeah, five bucks I'm extra. So down yeah. because I'm still working. I say it should. No, Brian, Brian should go lower. Brian should go lower because he's not. Yeah, he's yeah, not. he doesn't need a raise. <laughs> But, uh, Maybe then yeah, you will be thankful you're working. But, uh, yeah, of course. I'm just looking over here at my other modern thing. Um, but yeah, just uh, anything else we want to talk about? The, the big thing. Yo, anybody that's watching this and you guys are for over 30 and you're on WhatsApp, I swear to fucking God, chill with your goddamn hey, WhatsApp hey, metal hey, degree. Hey, hey, okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay, relax. It's okay. <laughs> with my parents. It's like I had to drink, drink that onion tea this morning. I hated it. Oh, the, the people that just... Yeah. Like, you hear all this, like, um... You hear all this, like, WhatsApp news this, WhatsApp news that, and you're just like... They're thinking of making a heroes fund, so they're gonna increase pays even more. A hero sign? What? Heroes mm -hmm. fund is what they're gonna call oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, I don't know if it's true, but have you seen that like China has been like posting up like uh healthcare workers on like their buildings and stuff? No. I think. Here, let me look it up. I can probably check it. No. Uh. <coughs> Did you hear about China having an overflow of emergency products like masks and stuff? What? Hmm. Brian, what was China that? China has ha has extra like emergency things like masks yeah, yeah, and gloves and stuff like that. Out and stuff. They have a surplus of it. Because they make all of that. Yeah. Here, this is what I was talking exactly. about. Exactly. The question is, do you trust it when it gets over? <laughs> so the so the Chinese city plashes hero healthcare workers' faces on buildings. Which I think Not is, bad. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty nice. It's a good, yeah. uh, it's a good way to like wreck. Because I mean, realistically, if we think about it, after all this is done and whatever, those guys Bang. don't get like a day off or like a vacation off. They go right back into saving people's lives. Oh yeah. It, I mean, but I, I know, right? Same they here. They get paid very handsomely as well. I mean, you know, you know what you're signing up for. Yeah, and they, like, they get home. As a healthcare worker, right? You look at all the dumbasses out there still spreading the virus like three cards. Sorry, yeah. That, that's a poor choice of words. Like, some people are going to get mad. As dumbasses. <laughs> that, that's, that's Yo, oh my God. That's nothing even better. No, because, no, because look at this. Okay, you're a healthcare worker, right? You're sitting, you're sitting in the emergency room ventilating people trying to make sure they live. While people are still outside... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying it's uh, like, no, because you know, it, what bothers right. me more, what bothers me more, healthcare workers that that have to go home and they sleep in completely separate ends of the house. Like they don't sometimes they don't even go home. They like sleep somewhere else. They sleep in the basement to make sure yeah. that if they have the actual virus, it doesn't spread to their family. It sucks because what it's like, it's what maybe. But well, we're three weeks. We're three weeks into this. Okay, so let's assume. Let, let's let's assume one healthcare worker hasn't been able to touch their kids. Or their wife, or their husband, for three weeks. That sucks. You know they're gonna have a shutdown, eh? <clears throat> the government's coming in. The 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 army has started the coming in. People are saying it's to help out the essential workers. No, they're not. They're setting up check posts. They're gonna start. They're setting up the the basically the the. They're setting up facilities to allow for them to be able to roam around and have bases and stuff. And then probably just gonna be like, yo, you shut go down. Inside. You come out. You know, it's not as bad as Thailand, but they'll shoot you. But um, yo, those they'll probably be like, we have more of a force on the road to check. We have checkpoints up. So like you're on the 401, at a certain spot you have to stop and get checked, and they're gonna ask you why you're going. If you're a trucker, they'll probably have a separate like uh, lane just yeah, for they, you. They always have one, yeah. So uh, everyone else has to find out or whatever. And maybe at that same place, they'll also do testing. Like the swab testing where they put the swab down your nose to see. Yeah, but isn't the swab testing still takes a day. They they haven't actually. Yeah, but they, they get better numbers, right? They're gonna ask you where are you going. You're going to work. Okay, let's just quickly do this test. Okay, you can go on your way. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to your buddy's house. Go home, or you know, what I mean, turn around, or you know, take that exit. They're gonna do something. 
You know what I mean? Like they're not they're or they're gonna just start saying, Oh, you're going to a buddy's house or whatever. Take this ticket, you know? Take this they, ticket. <laughs> they may. Who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're breaking the law. How are you gonna fight that? And yo, you can't fight that ticket. Which yeah, some is, rules some rules are turning into laws now. Which is another thing. What is that outcome of the guy that got the hefty ticket for holding the party? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Hundred grand. Oh, yeah, hundred grand. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna buy a GTR with that money, boy. Yeah. Yeah. So see, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you determine if someone can pay? Like, they're not. Example? They're not working. You know what I mean? Like, for a ten thousand dollar car loan, you can credit application. You guys get a hundred thousand dollars ticket. Like, you gotta pay. I. Well, if you can own a, own a house. I want to know how that guy's gonna pay that off, yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, know, if you see him on the side of the, the corner, side corner. Don't yeah. approach. I, they, they never actually released how the guy looks, right? I, I don't think I saw how he looks. People told me he was a Sri Lankan guy, but I don't know. I, I didn't see how he looked. I was wondering how he looked. Let me see. Hey, let me see. In Google Brandon got everything. Party. Was it a Brampton? 100, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was Brampton. Bro, everything happens in Brampton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, stop with the car parts. I'm actually trying to see this uh, photo. Oh, this. I found it. You found the picture? I didn't know Bradford has some of the strongest fines in the country. Level last week, I mentioned that someone who, who at a house party is facing a fine of 100000 because there's no tolerance for foolishness right now. <laughs> Back to the party had, of 20 people. They had, they had mm-hmm. to set an example. Oh, why am I listening to this? Did you see the one on IG where, where it was uh, about 50 people having a barbecue? In Toronto, no? No, I've never seen that one. Yeah, there's one in Toronto. I don't know where it was. Well, they're saying it's a fine of up to 100,000 bucks. It's not 100,000 bucks. I knew it. They're probably going to assess the person's financial record because if the guy makes minimum wage, like, how are you going to give him $100,000 fine? He won't be able to pay it. That sucks. Take a loan. Why are you <laughs> But they're not going to approve him for the loan. <laughs> Again, that sucks. Go live on the side of the road. You want to spread a deadly virus? He's going to get arrested in that case. So then for the government... It's See, if someone with... got sick from that party, then it would have been a lawsuit and a half. No, there's, of a course. Lady, there's a lady who um, yeah. wasn't getting tested in the States, but she had symptoms. So she went from went from one airport to another airport to China to get tested. And oh, my God. So they caught her. And she got tested. She, she did have the virus, but uh, she got fined for... Uh, spreading the virus, and if anybody yeah. actually dies from spreading oh. the virus, he gets a bigger fine. Apparently, I was I can't remember where I was reading it. What the fuck? Yeah, it, uh, it was. It, I was reading it. I was like, here. I was just. Happy. Yeah. Well, why go to China to get tested? It makes no sense. Uh, they weren't testing in the states. They're only testing. Uh, it was. It was for certain people. Uh, certain people that they're testing. Uh, here's the story. Ah. But see, look, here's why it doesn't make any sense, okay? You start to show symptoms. Your first job, your first idea is to go get check, go check if you're test, if you're, if you're positive. Wouldn't you at that moment, regardless of if you're like right now with all these things in place, I would just straight up be like, yo, I think I might have it. I'm not coming into work. You know what I mean? Self quarantine until you're sure. Basically, like it's probably and I guarantee you, because in the states you can get tested. It's not just for essential workers. It's like a three thousand dollar test if you want to get tested, right? God damn. No, but at at the time because of, at uh, that time, how at that time, not anymore. No, but how testing was working at that time, they were uh, people that were coming back from like uh, countries or, because they nobody. Yes. Had, they didn't you're have right, but. Yes. However, on top of that, um, on top of that, they were also basically someone was, if someone came in, if someone had it, um, English. My laptop is like heating up like crazy. It's okay. He doesn't speak that too well. Uh, 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 uh. I'm telling. 
<laughs> Man, you ugly ass dude. What the hell's going on with my hair, bro? Bro, me. Look at this shit. Yeah, but you're like. Yeah, it's so poofy. Right, you're just ugly. This is why no one loves you, Ned. Yo, guys, I hear Jumbie in my house, you know? That's just Brian on I'm the mic, there. dog. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 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 Oh, this guy muted himself. Real Jumbi. Loki by Jumbi, it's just Gypsy sneaking around the house trying to look for food or something. <laughs> <laughs> you just had the trash can fall over? Oh. Boom. Um, yeah, I think I've said everything I've wanted. This awkward, odd, awkward podcast. Of- I think that in order to save our economies... China, Us. Chinese government should pay reparations to the rest of the world in, in equal dividends to assist with the economy's recovery plan after this is all over. Okay, but I'm, I'm no business expert here. I can tell from other past situations that doesn't work out well. Anyway. Start printing. China's no, because in order to pay, they have to start printing more money. No, they pay out of their national GDP. Yeah, but... Okay, so you pay out of that, but where do they get the money for the rest of their... Somebody's going to quote me, somebody's going to hate me in the comments because I'm not a business major at all. I'm a science major. I've never been. Yeah, you're also an English major, right? English <laughs> major. Yeah, you see? The best English okay. right there. So the U.S. debt to China is $1.7 trillion. Cool. Yeah, but you, so, also have, you also have to include their national debt in that too. You have to take their gross product. They they have they owe one of the lowest national debts at only five trillion dollars. Yeah, but then you said what the, what did you say their their national net worth or whatever it was? Uh, I'm checking. This somehow this is too like, much. This somehow yeah. Like, okay. Well, according to the the Kiel Institute for World Economy, there are seven countries in the world whose external lo- lo- uh, loan debt to China surpasses 25% of their GDP. So there's a lot of com- countries that, yeah, that owe money to China. I think the Chinese government should waive portions of those of those loans as reparations. Just to assist with the economy's growth again uh that's parts of africa because look how much money have you spent how uh, much money have we spent so far in um uh injecting into the in, into the crb canadian emergency benefit plan and all these different kinds of things think about it right let's say for example it's like 180 billion dollars okay that should be subtracted from the loan debt we owe that way they don't have to print more money but they have to waive those debts you know what i mean and that allows a little bit of a little bit of a breather to canada to i don't know kickstart its economy again no oh, because then we're you can't just magically disappear money it has to go somewhere it has to come from somewhere that is true that is true but what I'm saying is this. Oh, man. Let's say, for example, China has, you know, X amount of GDP. Okay? Let's say, for example, they, they have, like, their their or their or their budget or what the money they have is, like, I don't know, $30 trillion okay, in their bank account. They should, let's say, for example, Canada spent $150, uh, $150 billion to you know, pay companies, the relief funds, all that stuff. They should give us $150 billion. And then it should be up to Canada to see how they use it, you know, whether that would be towards, uh, I don't know, or there should be some sort of reparations, you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, if they decrease tariffs or something on goods and tax, on goods and serv- uh, goods coming in, I don't feel like it's fair that this is the second time in history that we've been given a disease so the Chinese government did not want to act on fast enough. And this time, it's to such a great degree, it stopped countries, and it's like, this, this whole thing has literally killed economies. 
Mm. You know what I mean? There's countries that will not recover after this. The reason why Africa and all these places shut down immediately is because they're like, yo, our economies are very crippled currently. And dude, we can't afford to, we're still, we're still trying to deal with Ebola. And you guys are going to give us this in the mix? That's why they have such a low amount because they just closed their border. They're, they're, full, you know, they're not doing anything. They have secret police out. My buddy was telling me they have secret police out all the time. So their people, the police officers dress as civilians and they will literally, you know, report you, take you away. Like if you're sick, you, you get right down. Um, so they're being, and I think that would work in Canada too. That's secret police out, you know? So, well, for us, other places for, for their economy not to die, like we, as like the people, we gotta spend that in the same economy. We gotta build it back up ourselves. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think if they, if they actually open up all these factories again and start having like in house, like, we gotta, we as people gotta like invest back into what is gonna grow. Like, what, like, you know? I think companies like McDonald's and all these places should help. How much money? Okay, you tell me. Where is where is Canada getting this emergency benefit plan, uh, fund from? Where are they getting this money from? Everyone keeps asking that question. Where are they getting this money from? No one's answering the question. Exactly. That's why our dollar is dropping like crazy. Yeah. That is true. But they also got to understand that, like, when this is over, now you have all this additional money in circulation. You don't just get rid of that money. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's kind of that's yeah, we have to put it back into our economy. Which no one will. No, people will. The companies are going to keep outsourcing no, 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 no. People, China and no, 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 their labor and factories will. in Bangladesh. People will put it back. Highly doubt it. Yo, they didn't no, do it no, no, no. All, all these business guys, all these guys, yo, they're gonna put back because they're they know big companies that they big have companies to that put used back. to make how much money and are known they to pay back, back their debt and pay back their stocks are sitting low now. Nobody's gonna put money into them. They have money, yo, that they they're yeah. gonna put back into the economy. Yo, I we think should, we, should no, speak to, we should speak to the number one economist, this guy. <laughs> The number one economist and we're all, I, we're all sitting there thinking I, it's his brother now his dad comes on <laughs> no 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 i i think this is not here's the problem right you're gonna get all these people that used to invest into the economy in these smaller companies and brands and stuff that had good returns and low uh buy buy-ins and now they're gonna be like wow this thing basically crippled the stocks i don't trust that stock anymore i'm not investing in that stock anymore I'll invest in something that was stable through this, you know, huge upturn. What was stable? Tesla. Uh, what's it called? You know, companies like Purell, like different places, you know. Chinese companies, apparently people didn't read through this, but Chinese companies did really well. The stock market has watching through the whole thing. Quite a few of them did really well through all this. Because well, Chinese yeah, businesses we'll continue were doing well. what they're talking about. They were investing into their, into their, their local own. companies to keep it up. Yeah. We will not. We are too well. for no, we will. I'm telling you. They're going to be too afraid. And people will be like, you know what? It failed once. I'm not going to invest again. And they won't invest. The reason why China is such a good comp- oh, country. Everybody's going to invest. Because the way everybody looks at it right now is it's an easy way to make quick it's dollars. It's an easy way to make quick dollars. Yeah, you got to invest. That's on the basis that everyone else does. I don't think so. I so, yeah. Think. Obviously, when one person does it, okay, another person is going to do it. Then another person is going to do it. And then it's bang. Everyone's just going to start. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because most of the people that invest in stocks aren't investing for the company's sake; they're investing for money. So, what the, the the way you're looking at it right now is people are gonna look for the company that that has the lowest uh, that costs the lowest to buy a stock, but can pay back, right? That's Later guaranteed on. to do good. So everybody's just gonna put money in. Everybody's gonna be looking for that lower company, and each company's gonna eventually become that lower company that everybody's gonna put yeah. the money in. Only companies that aren't able to pay back are the companies that are going to do bad, but that's, they've already done bad, even pre, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. 
don't know, man. There's companies that are getting wiped off because of this. Yeah, what were they saying? One in ten companies that go off the market now will stay gone? Like, the, yeah. they won't come back at all? Yeah, but Something it's, like, it's probably, like, weird companies that just hype people yeah, or just have... Yeah, one out of ten. Yeah. It's probably those, those it's really, a lot. Yeah, it's probably those really, like, you know, companies that... Are yeah, it's, like it's, it's either really small beginning. companies or just companies that people realize that, like, aren't really too essential when it comes to yeah. things like this. Because the only thing that this is going to happen is people are going to realize what companies are essential and what companies need the money for other yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, this, yeah, this is going to make a big... Yeah. A big but this is cool too because when those companies go out of stock or whatever, there's going to be other companies. This can open the door for new companies. Now. Yeah, this is going to open the door for new companies. Yeah. If this, if you want to be a business yeah. owner, once this is all over, it's probably the best time to to get an essential business. Because there's going to be copyrights that are sold off. There's yeah. gonna be crazy crazy things that are just gone, and you're able to bank on that. Yeah. See, that's how your money moves now. Now you have. So, now you know how your money moves. It's interesting. Yeah, but yo, a lot of places. Yo, they they gotta determine if you're essential. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, through through this, you can figure out what companies were essential, like grocery stores are essential, corner stores are kind of essential-ish. Yeah, yeah are, convenience stores. Are essential. Um, restaurants, restaurants have been essential, right? They've been considered. Yeah, essential they've been doing delivery. Um, yeah, so people already have a firm grasp on what essential is gonna be, so it's not too. I think, I think the best way to make. I think the best way to kind of fix all of these problems is just to like take gas stations, okay, and <laughs> leave them and give every essential worker a card, okay? You have that card, you scan it, and they know that, you know, you're, you're an essential, essential worker. You, okay, or they can load that gas up, that card up with like gas. Do you, do you know how, do you know how bad that would be for half the people? It would. <laughs> like, yo, that will cause chaos. It they're, would, trying because, to, they're trying to make rules that won't cause a mass. See, like, what you're talking about, there's like a veteran's card. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then if you're not essential, you don't get gas. Eventually, everyone's car's going to run out of gas. <laughs> People are making gas in their backyard, yo. Yeah. Ryan's going to start putting, putting Corona down his tank and seeing if it turns oh. out. <laughs> This is this is old news, like for when this goes up and whatever. But this is old news. I, when I when I heard that Corona was out of business, yo, I literally ran downstairs. I threw the case of two four I have into hide, and I told my dad, "You want? You gotta tell me, bro." I <laughs> like no more Corona. Funny. You're gonna come over with the same with the same beer, different taste. I, no, same beer. Sorry, same beer, same taste, different name. Uh, we gotta make a new name, guys. For this. Yeah. We gotta make a new beer company. Let's make a distillery. Okay, no, they, they do good if you can make a really good beer. You can, yeah. You can, we should contact make? them and say, or "Hey, wine. when you fall over, invest in our idea and help us make a beer company." Or wine, yo. You can do wine. Let's email. Let's email Corona. Beer sells way more than wine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Really? Uh, beer yeah, sells it... fast. Yeah. The beer is the best. Yo, we'll be, like be essential. Population. We'll be essential business. We gotta open up, hey okay, guys. We gotta email Corona and be like, "Yo, Corona, we gotta email Corona." <laughs> we collectively have fourteen dollars. <laughs> Let us copyright we'll the, the beer. Company. Let us buy the rights to your beer, and we will help you grow using the full ten YouTube channel with yeah. all twenty-four of our subscribers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if if we post something that like your beer tasted Corona. And everyone's drinking it, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, this beer actually tasted like Corona." Yeah. We're gonna run away like bandits, bro. Yeah. Million dollars the first year. Yeah, for but each how, of us. Okay, but how are you gonna sell it? Like, you're gonna need you're gonna need a factory to make it, package it, ship it. Their, their factory. Their factory's Corona closed. Factory. It's closed. Yeah, that's how we're gonna buy it from buy them. Buy for nothing. Buy it. Do you think they're gonna buy it? They're just gonna wait till all this blows over and just reopen that shit. What the fuck? Here the Corona. Here the Corona. That's basically what's gonna happen. Bro, I, they're probably gonna change your slogan, your COVID nineteen election. Oh, hold on. Because you COVID nineteen. We're, we're trying to pay. We're, we're bringing back to, Corona. We're trying to pay the World Health Organization to change it to the Bud Light. That yeah, I saw that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> If you all open your own there. alcohol brand, that's what we probably do. Yo. I'd be like, yo, change it to the Brian. The Brian. <laughs> I'll pay you $100 million. All right. So how long have we been on this? We've been on this for 45 minutes. I think this is a good time to cut it. We've gone through some weird topics. Yeah. Until, yeah, okay. until next week.
when we decide next what our new week. topic is gonna uh, next week our, next week our podcast is probably gonna still look like this but it's probably gonna be a little bit more serious not a little bit more janky because honestly this is the first time any of us has done this or tried to we, I, like I didn't this. know until like an hour yeah we didn't even plan this <laughs> yeah i know me and Anna had planned it this guy he, i thought he told you guys anyways like i had no, to unbox these us. headphones for this podcast anyway I made a YouTube um, yes. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> it's not uh, going to look as janky next week. Brian's not going to be in bed. Yeah, with his bed here. Yeah, so we'll figure it out. We'll uh, I'll, In the comments, if you guys make it to the end, tell us what you want to hear about us talk or rant about next. A lot of stuff we rant about. Or if you agree with us. Or what? No one's agreeing with Anand. They're all agreeing with the... If you guys agree with us, yeah. and me specifically... Put in the comments. Let us know. Not at all. We're back on YouTube, guys. It's been a long wait. We're gonna make our yes, comeback. We got, we got the we got Project Pony coming up. Project Ruby the Subi. Project FRS. Yeah, we project, got project. You know, project. A lot of cars. Get him a new car. Get him a new car. <laughs> we got, you guys will we got Project Rachel. On and fix on auction. Anyways, yep. anyways have a good night. Have a good, have a good night, guys. We'll see you again.